Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be making keto pizza using Joe's Lavash bread. Yes, that means we will not be making any fathead dough, baking any cheese, baking any chicken, none of that. This bread is only 120 calories, so we can eat the whole thing guilt-free and pour our calories into our toppings. We have 12 grams of protein on this pizza, only 12 grams of net carbs, and if you aren't on keto, this pizza is so bomb, it doesn't even matter. So let's get right into the video. To start, we're gonna ignore my dusty fingers throughout this video and preheat this oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna make our tomato sauce. This recipe did come from Reddit and it does call for crushed tomatoes, but use whatever tomato sauce that you would like and pause here if you do need that recipe. We're gonna throw our lavash into the oven for three to five minutes just to toast the foundation and get our lavash ready for us to put all of our toppings and sauce on since it will be carrying quite a bit of weight. Yes, I burned my fingers pulling that out of the oven. This is what a burnt lavash looks like. Anyway, we're gonna start putting on all of our toppings here, and this is where most of our calories are going to be coming from, so go ahead and use your discretion when applying toppings. You are in control of the calories here, but with that being said, I do want to mention that the cheese is likely where most of it's going to be coming from, so please measure out your cheese to be safe. I've seen almost all mozzarella go for between 80 to 90 calories, but feel free to use any cheese that you like. Just measure it out and put it onto the pizza. For reference, I did want to show you what two servings of mozzarella looks like on a pizza. I want to say two and a half, three servings is good enough for me. After our cheese, naturally, we're going to go ahead and put all of our vegetable and meat toppings on. This is also where you're going to be controlling those calories, depending on how much cheese we just put on there. So go ahead, use your discretion, top it off with some oregano and olive oil spray and bake for 7 to 10 minutes, depending on how long you want it. This oven is dirty as hell. Who is cleaning it? Likely me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the oven and cut and serve or you don't even have to. I personally rip off of the pizza and just eat it like that, but you can be as aesthetic and meaningful as you want to with this pizza, so go for it. It also is a great substitute for meal prep, or if you just have some leftovers, throw it in the fridge for later, and it heats up just fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other keto recipes you wanna see. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Please share this video so that maybe Buns will stop running away with her treat every time.